was once a great explorer named Callie, uh, the Curious. Callie the Curious traveled all over the world, climbing mountains, sailing seas, and exploring everything. One day, Callie the Curious realized that she had no way to tell the stories of her great adventures. How would future explorers know and remember just how brave Callie the Curious was if they never heard her stories? But Callie the Curious wasn't just brave. She was smart. She knew it would be much better for her future explorers to see her adventures rather than just hearing about them. So, Callie the Curious started to draw. But where? Where could she draw that was big enough for all of her big adventures? Now Callie the Curious, as you can imagine, rarely made a mistake. But just as she thought she had found the perfect place to draw her big adventures, she realized she had just drawn on the walls, which her parents told her not to do. Hey friends, I guess I got a little carried away with pretending and made a pretty big mistake. Oh no, it's not coming off. What do I do, friends? I didn't mean to do it, but... But... Oh, my mom and dad are going to be so disappointed. Disappointed means being sad that someone let you down. This is not a good feeling at all. I wonder what the Bible has to say about when things like this happen. It's time for today's Bible story. It's from the book of Luke, chapter 15. One day, Jesus told a story about a man and his son. The man's son made a really big mistake. He asked his dad if he could have some money so that he could leave his family and go really far away. This made the dad very sad, but he gave his son what he wanted. The son traveled far away and used up all the money on not the greatest things. Soon, he had no money left, and he was very, very far from home. He had to take a job feeding pigs. Yuck! Feeding pigs made him realize the mistake that he had made, and he decided to go back home to his dad. He wasn't sure if his dad would welcome him back, but while he was still walking home, his dad saw him coming. He had been waiting the whole time for his son to come home. The dad came running and hugged him. He was so glad his son was safe that he threw a party to celebrate his son coming home. Jesus told the story so that all who heard would know that God celebrates us. Friends, the greatest thing happened. As you can imagine, my parents weren't very happy about me drawing on the walls. They said I had to clean it up immediately. That wasn't that great. But they said as long as I was working hard, they would help. Then, this is the great thing that happened. While they were helping, they kept telling me how much they loved the drawings of Callie the Curious' adventures. They took pictures of all the drawings before we cleaned them off the walls and said that they were going to share them and maybe even frame some to actually hang on the wall instead of drawing on the wall, which is against the rules. I couldn't believe it! It reminded me of the Bible story for today. The son in the story made a big mistake. He knew it, his dad knew it, but his dad saw that the son was really sorry. His dad didn't care that his son took all that money and lost it all. He was just happy his son was home and he was safe. That's why instead of making his son feel bad for the wrong things that he did, the dad celebrated him. And Jesus told that story so we would know God does the same thing, only even bigger. If people can celebrate us like the dad did in the story, then the party God throws for us is the biggest party ever because God celebrates us. It has been so fun having all these big, fantastic adventures with you. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Bye, friends. 